right, so, but now nah, let's get to it, bro. What's the guy named Slim Thug? Slim Thug, yes, yes, So yes, he was yes, basically, yes. I ain't listened to it, but it sounded like he was basically sending P. Diddy, P. Diddy prayers or whatever like that. I, it wasn't necessary. I watched the whole thing. So it wasn't was, necessarily him sending it. He just was saying, like, look, people are fast to tear down. Like, this this isn't a necessarily a criminal investigation. Mm -hmm. Like, this is not a criminal investigation. This is just allegations, right? So because there's so many allegations, because it's he say, she say, he say, she say, everybody's just running with it. But, like, my whole thing... With that is, look, now my phone's ringing. Watch how I do this. No, do your thing. Priorities. Is that somebody important, though? It is somebody important, but I'll talk to them later. Okay. You know right. what I'm saying? But anyway, um, when it came to, you know, the whole shit with, with, with Diddy, I, I feel like, you know, I, I had this thing I said on IG Live one day. People have not liked Diddy for a long time for a mm -hmm. multitude of things. There's some people who blame Diddy for Biggie's death. There's people who blame Diddy for Tupac's death. There's people who blame Diddy... For artists A, B, C, D, E, F, G having bad contracts or whatever the case may be. And most of the artists that Diddy, you know, stopped doing business with, you know, um, we've heard like rumors. But I've never seen, you ever seen a bad boy contract before? No. I've never seen a bad boy contract before either, right? Um, with that being said, niggas really just don't know. Why you keep getting up, man? Oh, go ahead, man. You said, listen, man. I don't like that. See, now you wilding. Like, now you wilding. Wildin', wildin', you wilding out, bro. Bro, you see what I'm doing, bro? I see what you're doing, but we got work to do, bro. Yeah, right, you you not focused. You know I'm what I'm saying? I'm focused. I'm very focused, All right, bro. so look. What I was saying is, is this. And by, and why me saying this is like, I've met Diddy numerous times. Mm -hmm. been, I've, I've been cordial with him. She showed me tons of love. Like, last time I seen Diddy was at the Breakfast Club. Um, I was in I was in New York doing Angela Yee's uh, show. You know what I mean? Him... Um, I don't want to say the wrong name of the show. I forgot the name of the show at the moment. Well, Angela Yee show? Her yeah, way show. up, way up. Okay, yeah, way yeah, up with way Angela up, Yee. Yeah, yeah. I was doing her show, and Diddy was there. He was doing Breakfast Club, ran into him, showed me tons of love, told me he was proud of me all type because I met him numerous times. You feel me? Now, with that being said, I don't look at what I'm about to say is like I'm defending him. I, all I'm saying is, is this, right? Like, people grant leniency for so many different things until things get figured out. See, the thing about, like, Guilty until proven innocent is all about who you want to be innocent. Mm -hmm. People don't want this to be innocent. You know what I mean? A, a majority of people, because they don't like him for whatever their personal reason is. A lot of people never had no interactions with him, never met him, don't know him, whatever the case may be. And granted, let's say there is some truth to that. I don't know. You don't know. And neither does the person that's going to be in the comment section of this. They don't know. Mm -hmm. They just going by what another person said. You know what I'm saying? And they, 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 there's also that thing, oh, some shit got to be true. Like, it wouldn't be that detail. Of, you know what I mean? That's my thing. I what? think, um, I think, that's how I feel. I feel like that one, right? Mm -hmm. But another part of it is, I personally don't want to see another, like, this dude is a legend. It is what it is, right? Yeah, with I, or without. Like, he's, he's, he's one of our heroes. When it comes to African American culture and in the hip hop and music industry, right? And I'm just tired of seeing our heroes go down, even though I know that we are all humans. Yeah. Right? yeah. So like, it hurts me to see that R. Kelly, for example, right? R. Kelly was one of like is a was a great musician. It is what it is, he right? Is. He's a foul person. He but is. when when you are connected to somebody that you music does things for us. When you connected to them and you find out they're a foul person, it's like, bro, what it it it, it kind of strips away from it strips it stri it strips away at you a little bit for me. I right? hate, yeah, go ahead, because so, I want you to finish your point. No, so so even no, I'm not taking away from like R. Kelly's foul. He deserved to get whatever he got. You know what I'm saying? Like I I think that. But I'm not I would be lying to say I wasn't the the super biggest like R. Kelly fan because I still was young. Yeah. But even when I got old, I'm like, damn, this music was good. I can't even appreciate it no more because he's foul, right? I can't appreciate the music because of what because the music it, when you're thinking about the music and you're thinking about whatever he's been convicted of, yes, that type it of just shit. is yeah. what it is. Yeah. That hurts, especially when you're a kid. So we think about Diddy. Diddy was one of them people who he's a he's he's acquainted or he's touched pretty much every damn artist, especially when it comes to coming from the north side, right? So like, pause. When I, <laughs> but like, so so when I when I think about it, it's like, bro, damn, it's like niggas is doomed. We can't have no heroes. No, I'm not, gonna, I, I don't agree that's, with that. No, that's how it feels sometimes. I don't, I don't agree with that, But bro. you don't have to agree. I'm saying that's how it feels sometimes for I, me. I, I hear you, but all right, look at it like this, right? Now, I I'm saying like, if everything is true. I feel, I feel like two things can be true, right? Now, again, I don't know what Diddy did or didn't do. You know what I'm saying? 
but a lot of good people do bad things. For sure, 100%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people abuse power. Mm -hmm. A lot of people use their positions to get over on people, to do people dirty, to take advantage of them. And um, that that's real. You know what I mean, like, that's real. So I don't want to, like, minimize nobody nobody's what they've gone through, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't, uh, what I'm saying is, is like, I, not that I have to agree with what you're saying, but there are tons of people that do great that never go through these things. The problem with us and our community is, is we look for entertainers to lead us, bro. Listen, that's our biggest problem. Our biggest problem is, if I like the way a nigga sing, dance, pause, rap, Whatever they entertain, that's just that, and that's where it stops. I don't have to just because this person made it, or made tons of money, or became successful, does not mean that I have to be married to their success or their demise. Now, you got to be objective in a lot of these situations as well. Could there very be? Could there very well be truth to this? Could be. Could it be absolute bull? Could be. End of the day, do you know? No. And did they do I know? No, but that ain't got nothing to do with feeling hope. Like you should not feel hopeless. No, not hopeless. I'm saying I feel like it strips away from me a little bit. And I say that to say because, bro, I get what you're saying, but you talking you talking from a grown man perspective. I'm right? a grown man. You're yeah, a grown man too. Yeah, yeah. But I, sometimes like, that's, that's why I like being in the space I am. Cause I don't talk just for me. Like I'm talking I, I for I feel that, but I'm, talking, this... I'm talking for the the, the 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 little boy in me as well. Pause. Damn. That was crazy. <laughs> but like I remember those times. Like, I feel like yeah. when have so much success, like y'all forget where we where you came from. Yeah, but at the same time, though, bro, you're not a kid. Like, stop. But you have a, so think about your son. Your son yeah. has athletes that he look up to, right? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure, like, he knows that we are all human and things like that. But I'm pretty sure it's an athlete or somebody somewhere. He's like, man, damn. Like, he he probably have a, he feel like he got a real connection to that person. If that person go down, that probably will hurt a little bit. All right, look, bro. This is the problem. I'm gonna keep you a hundred. See, like you go to church, like I'm Muslim. Mm -hmm. You go, you know what I mean? What is, what's your uh I'm Christian. You Christian. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the problem that happens even in, when it comes to faith, bro. Even in faith, they use their knowledge of faith as a tool against people. Yeah. To do bad You're right. Now look, look, I, you see how you said that, right? As people be revering, let's say, the preacher. They be revering the preacher because he gives, like, especially when you're in the fucking hood, when you're in the ghetto and you ain't got no hope, a person that speaks light into you, speaks positivity in you. As much as everybody, like, uh, like appreciates that, they forget the fact that he's a man and he's he might person. like to get his dick sucked. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he might not want his wife to do it every time. You feel me? So it's like at the point where he does something, then it's like, oh, man, like, Oh no, no! You know why? We have to stop looking as as men and women as stop, idols, bro. I, yeah, stop, I, yeah. bro. I'm what, bro. N now look, what I'm saying is because you made a point about like your younger self, right? Being your younger self, saying like looking, like growing up and saying, "Damn, this is a person that inspired me," which is fine. Like you can still be inspired by somebody, even if they did something wrong. Don't mean that you got to follow their path. But at the same time, it's like, bro, you got to know when that shit stops. You are right, bro. You have to know where it stops. Like, like, look, like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. I love. My, I never seen this go in my own eyes. I never been to a game. I never been somewhere, and he was right there. And I seen. I've never seen him with my own eyes. But this man has been a a, a person that's inspired me through sports. Mm -hmm. Right. Ar I've argued with niggas. I've fell out with friends when I was a kid arguing over Michael Jordan because people ain't just start not liking Michael Jordan. I mean, it's always been a thing. With that being said, there's things that people have said about Michael Jordan that are negative about him. Where I'm just like, all right, well, I like him for that. Yeah. I ain't really trying to get into so what a nigga if, do. If that's not that's not that's not concrete though. If it came out concrete that oh no, nah, it's been concrete. I'm, I'm talking that about he like, don't like black black people. Nah, nah, nah. They don't want black people wearing stuff. I'm nah, nah, he never it, said that. But, I mean, it, but, but bro, it, like I'm gonna keep it hundred, bro. As a black person, I don't like all black people. Like, saying. like just keep it I'm a, a stack. If like, it came out concrete that I'm not trying to. Which nothing on nobody, but he came out that he's a, a serial rapist. Like you still gonna be walking around with his Jordans on? Probably not. But that what that wouldn't hurt a little bit though. That wouldn't sting. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it wouldn't sting. I'm just saying is that like. So you're challenging. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying that. Mm -hmm. I'm. I get what you're saying. You're absolutely right. Yeah. I do understand that we are human, and if I get that, hundred percent, bro. Yeah. I'm just saying that it hurts a little bit to see our 
heroes go down like this in a in a manner that they're going down. Like being being a child molester, bro. Like that's foul. Nah, it's insane. It's insane. Yeah. But but I, but but. Yeah. Human trafficking is foul. So what I'm saying is, yeah. granted, I'm not putting none of this on this man right now. I'm yeah. just saying, if that was to come out, it hurts because it's like, yo, and you say like, yeah, it's a lot of people that's doing great, but a lot of people ain't Diddy. A lot of people ain't R. Kelly. Like these aren't. No, that's a these, fact. These that's aren't. Fact. We're not talking about just regular plain James Joe Smokes. I know, but at the same time, bro, it's like, <laughs> all right, look, 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 bro. It come, All I'm saying is, and I, I think that two things could be true. I think For that sure. you're right at what you're saying as well. I just think that like people got to be able to separate you right. Like, like you gotta be, you gotta be able to separate. Cause even now, look, when it comes to R. Kelly, I never was a big R. Kelly fan. When I was a little kid, R. Kelly music started coming out when I was a little kid. I'm talking about elementary school. Yeah. Like that was before my time. So I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I never really was a big fan of his music like that. And for some people, that's crazy. Nah, but yeah. for myself, like I just ne never was a big fan. So like when shit started transpiring, I didn't really give a f like I didn't really care. I didn't look at it like, oh, here they go tearing but down another black man. Can, imagine that that happened. If, but bro, again, if you Jordan if, or, or Kobe. if you a black, listen, bro. Regardless to if you black, whatever, bro. If you do foul, sh you got to be held accountable. No, so, I'm so, with that. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm agreeing with so you. So the thing about bro. it is, is like at, at the same time, it's like you, you. We also got to look at the look at it from the side of this, right? Like if you a grown ass man or woman, because it's not only men who do horrible things. People do horrible things. For sure, 100%. You feel me? If you're a grown ass man, if you're a, a grown ass woman, and you do something horrible, you know what I'm saying? We have to stop. First of all, we addicted to trauma. Our people was addicted to trauma. It's 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 horrible when it's this, but it's cool when a nigga kills somebody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not trying to compare the two, yeah, no. but people pick and choose what means something to them, where their moral compass is, depending upon how much they like the person. Yeah. Same shit with King Vaughn, bro. When it came into King Vaughn, now look, I met King Vaughn. A few times when I met him, cool. But I met him in cool settings. I met the nigga at Dirk's birthday party. Everybody was playing basketball. He was super duper cool. I met him in the studio one time in Charlotte during All Star Weekend. Super duper cool, right? Now, when he pat when he passed, you know what I'm saying? Fucked up situation. But if it was Quando Rondo, that would have passed. The way people are so into the brand of what they think King Vaughn was, like they painted him as this killer yeah. and they talk about him being a serial killer. People so addicted to like cheering for a motherfucker dying that if if the, if the tables was turned, they'd be celebrating King Vaughn for something that happened to Rondo. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? End of the day, bro, our people just hurt. I'm just tired of our people hurting and and and, and this, internalizing hurt over what somebody else does. hurts our people more is what I'm saying. For example, me and you, mm -hmm. we just building this relationship but even like, or maybe that's not a, the best, your best friend, right? You're not idolizing your best friend, but it, like you said. I don't know. But like you said, though. I idolize some niggas that I grew up with, bro. I can't lie, bro. And, and it's led me to good and it's led me to bad. Yo, Get off your phone. But I got people downstairs. But like I said, though, right. what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. is, not outside of idolizing. You said something that made sense. You was like, yo, if a nigga do some fucked up shit, you got to hold him accountable to that. Yeah. And because I'm a man, I, I stand on that. Yeah. So it hurts when a nigga that's close to me, even though Diddy ain't close to me, R. Kelly, but they had something that that, that I, I value close in proximity, whatever. You know what Just I'm inspiration. So, so, yeah. So what I'm saying is, if my close friend did some foul shit, like rape. Do you say free your homies? I don't really have homies that's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? All right. I'm, well, but, go, finish saying, your point. I, I, I want to make a, a point about that. If I a close friend or family uh -huh. member that I care for. Yeah. And he raped a, a, a little girl. Oh, no, nah, that's, that's inexcusable. But that's, what but that's what I'm saying. Well, you know, that's what I'm saying about R. Kelly Diddy. So if he does that, it's going to hurt me because I, you're not my friend no more. Because oh, I yeah, got to no, stand no. 10 toes on it. So that's what I'm looking at. When I'm looking at P. Diddy's, when I'm looking at R. Kelly, I'm not saying Them me because I'm a grown. your friends, I'm, though. I know, but I'm not saying, <laughs> no, I'm not saying me as a grown man. I'm thinking about me when I was a kid, but bro. You, but yeah, but, but you got to get over that. But no. You got to get no, over that. Nah, that, bro, you got to get over that. That's who I am. We just talked about this. I feel you, but you got to get over that, bro. No, you got to hit me out. As a grown man, mm -hmm. I know the difference. And I'm trying to tell you I know the difference. I know that you but know I'm the difference. But I'm saying that it's kids out here mm -hmm. who don't know the difference yet. And I was one of those kids. That's what I'm trying to That's what I'm trying to talk to you when I'm talking to this point. That's why I want to talk about this. Because when I'm talking to it, I'm talking to my wife or like other people. And they like, man, if that nigga did that, man, fuck that nigga. And I'm like, nah, because it ain't just fuck that nigga. Because now, that what, is it, what, what does that do for all of the young kids that's looking up to him? What does that do for all of... He has real fans. What does that do to our world? Not trying to be on some... World peace type shit, but what did that do to what did that do to, to everybody else? When I was in Baltimore, right? But you can't uh, hold on. You can't say hold on a second. You can't say if he did it. Like now, look. If if it, bro, that's why context be mattering, bro. Like you just said when you gave the analogy mm -hmm. of your friend, if it was a known fact 
that something horrendous happened, mm-hmm. whether it's your friend or your favorite entertainer. And through this tenure of them fighting for their freedom, they're saying, I didn't do this, I didn't do this, I didn't do this. And then we and then some factual shit comes out and it's a a video. It's concrete. Concrete, a video, a fucking picture, a this, a that, right? That shit comes out. Um, you can't not say I went. I don't know if you got to use the same verbiage as fuck them, right? But you got to be like, oh, nah, I ain't. Because cause guess what, bro? It's it's like J. Cole's song, False Prophets. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. like sometimes you look towards people and they be selling snake oil. You know what I mean? They be snake oil salesmen. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Selling the bullshit. A lot of times, bro, niggas be, yo, just in hip-hop overall, bro, it's a detrimental genre to just living, yeah. bro. Like, let's just keep it a stack. And it's smoke and mirrors, all this shit. For it, it that is, niggas talking it, about a bunch of shit that they like. A lot of it is smoke and mirror, and that's what I'm saying, bro. And everybody, like, I hate when people say, oh, everybody always runs with that term. Oh, y'all, y'all pick and choose. No, everybody picks and chooses, bro. Everybody can talk about a situation to lay in a situation. Mm-hmm. Same thing with somebody talking about, oh, a nigga who ratted. Look, oh, if a nigga rat. Look, you know, look, most, most times, I'm not, this is something that I really dealt with in my life. A nigga talk about, oh, if a nigga ride it, I would like I would never. And a lot of those people never went through no situation like that. I, I didn't have friends that really been in them that really been in them situations. And then you have to alienate yourself based on your affiliations or what it is you're doing. And motherfuckers don't, a lot of people don't know what that's like. Mm-hmm. They could talk about that shit or could talk about what they would do. Everybody got a plan so they get punched in their face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I look at it from the standpoint of this, bro. I can honestly say. My dealings with Diddy over the past few years have been cordial. I met him through mutual respect Mm -hmm. from the work I was doing and a nigga taking the acknowledgement and showing love and being around him. And when I see him, showing love. I ain't never been around him personally. Right. So I can't. That's another thing. I don't vouch for like, I don't vouch for what grown men do or don't do. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at at, at the same time, it's like, I just feel like people got to let. Things play out. Wayno, well, you know, you're still talking from a grown ass man perspective, bro. And I you're, what what I'm trying to tell you is you right, right? But you All right, so let's end the circle because we ain't gonna do this no, for the no, whole no, time. No, 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 because right? I'm, I'm trying to I'm just trying to get it through to you like growing up in Baltimore, right? Um is a is a, a word called desensitized. Desensitized. Being, 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 I know what that being means. Desensi- being desensitized, right? I know what that means. So I never say you didn't. But being desensitized, right? You in Baltimore, like if I see a bunch of people get killed, sometimes it's like, man, well, Shit, death is, it just is regular, right? Yeah. But also, there's another side to that where as though you you got a guy that's trying to get out, but like this is how I felt sometimes. A lot of the guys, like the G Songs was a, a super big comedian, right? Who? Uh, his name was G Songs. Mm-hmm. Um, Lil Scooter, he was getting co-signed by Diddy, getting, getting co-signed by Meek, you feel me? Like, yeah. he was the nigga that was next up, you feel me? You see these niggas die, then you look at yourself as like, man, I'm trying to be great, but they were more successful than me. They getting killed. What's... What, what, what's, yeah, what's, yeah, yeah. what's going to happen to me? So that's I, I what I'm saying. You, so, I'm saying I, so I'm not... I, listen, I'm not saying that yeah, yeah, yeah. grown men for sure can differentiate. Like, yo, I can... Me personally, people might not agree with this. I can differentiate the music and the person. So I damn sure can differentiate. I know niggas is regular. Like, none of these niggas is better. Like, that's how I operate. But I'm saying I didn't operate that, that way all... My, my entire life as a person. You know what I'm saying? I, I was a kid who looked up to people and I know there's other kids out there as well. So for me, it's like, yo, if you take away all of our, I, not idols, but if you take away all of our um icons or whatever, it's like, yo, what does that tell the young dude that's trying to be that person? Even even a grown up, what does that tell of the person that's like, man, I'm about to be the next Diddy? I get that's you, a, bro, but, but that's, I'm, I'm just, I just think that like, look, I just think that like, so you can't you're not, you're not saying that. nothing. That's all I'm you're saying. not saying nothing wrong, but I just feel like you're looking at it from a small scope because that's just one person. It's, it's tons of other people, bro. It's it's tons. It's not tons of Diddy's. I'm not talking about just it's Diddy, not bro. Tons of R. Diddy's not the only. Diddy it's, and R. Kelly's not the only niggas to look up to in life, bro. No, that's facts. Or to be inspired no, by in life. Fact. Those is two niggas, bro. Yes. So I'm just, that, I'm just saying, it's like you, you saying, saying it's tons of niggas. It is it's tons of niggas. It is tons of no. It's tons of successful people that don't fucking sing and dance that that you can be inspired by. That's my thing. Well, you know you're. They're I not only taking, bro. No, you talk. I, you're saying I'm talking. I'm, listen, listen. You use an example of two niggas, bro. You're, because you're you're making it. You're saying that I'm thinking about it in a smaller scope. No, I'm just being. I'm I'm I'm. 
not intentional, but I'm being very niche with what I'm talking about. I'm talking bro, about every what I'm talking I'm about. I'm not talking about every nigga, else. bro. Every nigga that get in trouble is not Malcolm X, bro. Right. I, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. every hold on, every hold on a second, bro. Every nigga that gets in trouble is not some fucking upstanding man. And I'm not and I'm not even talking about Diddy. I'm just speaking generally. Every nigga that get in trouble, bro, is not some upstanding, was trying to do the right thing, Fred Hampton type nigga, sure. and the police just plot on them and fucking take But that's their not lives. what I'm saying though. I know, but the way you're fr the wait, hold on a second. I know that you're not directly saying that. But the way you're talking, bro, is like you're saying, yo, if they keep taking every bro, bro, who's everybody that got taken no, away no, from no, us? No, that's no, not, no, if that's, no, how let's, if, if that's how it's, I, I'm not trying to make what I'm saying is, bro, if you continue to see niggas getting killed, no matter if they, yeah, if, no matter if not, they have, no matter if they, if they one foot in and one foot out, it's still gonna do something to you. That's all I'm not. What about niggas, Pharrell? Pharrell's a, a, a great guy. Pharrell is a great guy. Yeah, yeah for sure. what about Pharrell? But Pharrell what about, is not Diddy, though. We talking about music industry. Pharrell is Pharrell not Diddy. Is not, let's, He's uh, not Diddy. No. Bro, hold, hold on a second. Hold on Come a second. On, hold on a second. Hold on a second. You're not, you're not about to renegade me on this Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What I'm saying in comparison, Pharrell is a music mogul. He's a fashion mogul, right? And he's, he's still a, not Diddy. He's a music mogul. He's a fashion mogul. He's a music producer that actually sat on the boards and pressed keys and worked on tons of albums and tons of hit records from everybody from... The top rapper to the top pop star. So what I'm saying is, is when you saying he ain't Diddy, is you're thinking about the name and the uh, the the uh, uh, the name and the mystique or whatever the case may be, and you're not comparing careers, bro. If you be comparing careers, I'm not saying that Star Trek was bigger than Bad Boy. What I'm saying is that Pharrell, as a musician, as a fucking musician, same as a Dr. Dre. Who's in the same conversation? He's in the conversations, bro. Yes. He's in the conversations as a musician. Yes. As a musician, bro, you're not gonna sit here and tell me that the a nigga Pharrell Williams, who went from the first time we heard him, he produced fucking Rump Shaker for 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 Teddy Riley, and is now doing the fall line for fucking Louis Vuitton and made Billionaire Boys Club and brought us the clips and fucking Justin Timberlake records and Robin Thicke and records with Jay-Z and everybody else is not an important black man in this shit, bro. That, bro. No, but you say he not Diddy. Bro, there's, so there's no other Pharrells. He's a he's a, a household name. Bro. All I'm saying is, is you, you bro, you acting like the fucking, the, the ship is going down forever because of one nigga. No, I'm not, bro. Yes, you're, you are, you're bro. Taking that, you're taking the words of my wife. I'm not taking words. Words listen, out your mouth, bro. Listen, I'm, I'm saying what you're hurts, saying. Listen, listen. If I say it hurts to keep to keep saying our greats fall, you're like, no, you need to understand that they're human. I understand that. I'm saying that. That's not the only that, point I made, it, though, bro. It, it hurts to see our greats fall. You're saying we got other greats. I get it. But yeah. again, to a who don't know, right? Because you're in the music industry, you knows, you know. But no, Wayne, no, you can't take a, you can't take away from your knowledge in this shit. And to a nigga, to a nigga that don't. So you telling me, bro? So only people. Let me tell you. Let me ask you this question. The only Niggas who can be inspired by is niggas that come from the hood in the trenches. No, that's the only because no, because no, because you're talking. No, listen, you you speak for a certain place. I'm not knocking that. I speak for a certain place. So wait, wait, I, wait a second. I speak for a certain place. You speak for a certain place. We speak from poverty. We speak from the hood. So the hood is the only niggas that there that 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 can look to people and say, oh man, if if that nigga falls, then what can I be? That they the only niggas no. that can do that. No, bro. Yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Listen. If your lady's on go, but your meat got a fro. Yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Listen, don't use the clippers you use on your face on the head below your waist. Yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Listen, fellas, you want that jumper like Steph Curry, but your nuts is fairy? But nah, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped.com. Use promo code JHill for 20% off. They're going to give you a, the, the man bag. You know what I'm saying? When you're traveling, put all your grooming needs in the man bag. You don't got to carry it in your book bag. You don't got to be all over the place. You feel what I'm saying? They got the nose trimmer. Listen, man, some of y'all know it's disgusting out here. Get you a nose trimmer. For real. This shit is disgusting. Some ball deodorant for when you out and about. You about to get it on. Put that ball deodorant on. Smell fresh. Brand new. And of course, the lawnmower 5. Make sure you holler at my guys at Manscaped. J-Hill promo code. J-Hill, one word. 20% off and free chipping. All I'm saying is, you said it too can be right, but you're being very dismissive of my point. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that you're not right, bro. I I'm not trying to be speaking, right. But you're speaking, what I'm trying to tell you is, you're speaking from a, a grown man perspective. You're also speaking from a nigga that's been in the industry and knows and knows this shit. And so I'm respecting you for that. All I'm saying is, when I say Pharrell's and Diddy, I'm saying from on a... 
on a bigger scope of things, like, yeah, I can acknowledge who Pharrell is. I know who the fuck Pharrell is. But I'm just saying, if we had to pe- compare them, if we had to put them side by side and have everybody in the world look at Diddy or Pharrell, niggas, most people are going to know Diddy. And no, I'm not, but no, but, but I'm you're not saying, saying knowing, like, but I'm not all right, saying, I'm not taking nothing away from what it's Pharrell did. It's schematics, but... All I'm, all I'm just saying is, bro, when we're talking about influence... I would like to believe that he has a bigger in, uh, a bigger impact on the influence of our culture. And if you have somebody that don't really know too much, they probably like, oh, I seen Diddy. That's all I'm saying. So when I'm saying it, it hurts to continue to see our greats, not saying that Pharrell wouldn't be isn't great. I'm not saying that it wouldn't hurt if we if Pharrell fell. I'm just saying we keep seeing our greats fall to being fucked up individuals. And from what I stand on, right? If you're a nigga in the industry and you like, man, nah, I'm gonna make it. On some solid shit, and you keep seeing all the great, the great niggas have fucked up shit going on, with, going on with them. R. Kelly, uh, fucking Bill Cosby. Now P. Diddy. Hopefully that shit is wrong, but you continue to see that. It's like it kind of make you feel like, damn, like you can't get to the top being a straight up nigga because all these niggas is foul. Of course, not all of them. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, no, because that don't, bro. Look, this is what I'm saying. So that's yo. not a point. So that's that 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 can't that that don't make what no I'm sense. Saying what I'm is, saying is this, bro. What I'm saying is this. You look if you so say nothing look, I just look, said wait, makes sense. I ain't saying it don't make sense. What I'm saying it is this, bro. You said if you a nigga that's you trying to do shit solid, whatever being solid means, because everybody has a different definition for that, right? But you see Bill Cosby, right? R. Kelly, Diddy. They did the same thing to Michael Jackson. And com- uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And a common denominator, the common denominator between these situations is that. These niggas like the fuck, maybe a little bit more than other people, and they. No, let's keep it a hundred, cause that's if we're talking about Diddy, what he's alleged of. If you're talking about R. Kelly, what he was convicted of, or you're talking about Bill Cosby, what he was alleged of and convicted of, or whatever. What does it involve? It involves sex, right? Mo- hold on, it all involves sex, right? But it invo- also involves kids. It. I'm not. Listen, listen, bro. It involves. It involves kids or whatever. It involves sex. Now listen, bro. We can't bro. say kids or whatever though, ain't no. Listen, all right. I, I'm just no, done, bro. What? I'm done, bro. I'm done because what? because 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 a nigga I, like I'm the done. fuck. I'm not judging a nigga. I'm done, if bro. If R. Kelly was just fucking hoes, I'm not not listening to what the music. What I'm saying is, is that these niggas are alleged sexual predators. Yes. These niggas is alleged sexual predators. Yes. And if you're a nigga. And you see that niggas is alleged sexual predators and facts may come out by evil or, or, or let's say all hypothetically speaking, all three of them was guilty of what they did. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to say I can't be something because these niggas, wait a sec, bro, that makes no sense to me. That does not compute said, to I said that No, but it's not, you keep saying, bro, like we, ca- we keep running into the same wall. But wait, I, and no. I don't want to keep, listen, bro, I don't want to keep harboring on this same conversation because I feel like we'll be here all night saying the same thing over and over and over I'm and over. You- what I'm saying is, I let you, I let you make your point. What I'm saying is, is this, bro, if you think that because a nigga like Diddy got to whatever his mountaintop was or or R. Kelly got to whatever his mountaintop was and Bill Cosby got to his, melt, his mountaintop was and they got and, and their downfall is potentially because of what they allegedly did in their spare time or whatever and you look at yourself and you look at yourself and say, damn, how could I make it there? Because they made it there and look what happened to them. I think that's ridiculous. Okay. I just think and, that's, and, I'm just keeping, because that's, it's individualized, bro. It's individualized. What I'm saying is, bro, that's very dismissive, right? Okay, of, and, it but, could be, and, and that's that's fine. It's just that's not what I stand up because I'm right. I like everything you said. I said that's true, right? But when I'm when I'm mentioning is kids out here because I was one of them kids. You're saying that's ridiculous, and like, and that's why I'm saying I'm getting offended by it because like, bro, what do you mean that's ridiculous when your son might look up to one of these niggas like that and you don't know? My son and, got his father, bro. Right. My right, son but, got his father. Okay, hold cool. on, my, hold on, hold on. My son got his father. My son. But what is, about the kids that don't have that father? All right, well, you asked me about my son, nigga. What the fuck is you talking right, no, about? No, 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 fair, you, fair, you, fair, Talking about my son. So, so it's kids out there who don't have their fathers, okay. right? And I'm saying we just gonna say fuck them like it's ridiculous. No. I didn't say fuck them, but bro, why the fuck? This is my. This is the problem. We have to stop looking to entertain us to fucking lead us, bro. You right? Listen, listen, listen. I'm, I'm with you when, 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 when it was black, when all the black 100%. lives matter, when George Floyd shit happened and everything, and shit was at its highest tensions in this country, everybody was wondering what the fuck Kendrick Lamar one was gonna say. Everybody was wondering what J Cole was gonna say. Here comes little baby with the fucking the 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 black the black power anthem at that time, right? Totally left field. Nobody thought that was. 
coming. But why the fuck is we worried about? Well, hold on a second. Why the fuck is we worried about what J. Cole and, and Kendrick Lamar is going to sing about when we got real people that's on the fucking ground that's make? I'm not talking about nobody that's involved. Yeah, no, real people that's current. Listen, like, pe I'm, not, people. I'm not talking about niggas. Niggas could joke on. People joke on niggas like my son and, and, and Al Sharpton and all of that. But them same people who joke, what the fuck do they do when it's time to get on the front lines and go protest or go talk to, when, when niggas is getting killed and they going talking to these people's mothers and internalizing this, their, their, their pain and, and going and, 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 and putting themselves in a, a vulnerable position to help other people. That's all I'm saying, bro. Instead of looking for a nigga who sings and dances to fucking lead you to whatever your promised land is because the, the, the that's the thing. Everybody's not meant to fucking entertain. Some niggas got to work at Costco for the rest of their fucking life. Some niggas got to work at Target for the rest of their fucking life. Some niggas got to drive Uber for the rest of their fucking life. Just because you drive Uber for the rest of your life and Diddy or one of these niggas didn't make it don't mean that you're not going to be nothing. So my thing is, is that everybody got to stop falling in fucking love with thinking that they're going to be the biggest uh, the biggest version of themselves by not, being in entertainment. I'm, I'm not, not saying you. Yeah. I'm just saying that you're, you, the, 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 the rebuttal that I'm having for you is because you're, you're speaking hypothetically on certain people on how they may or may not feel. Not even certain people. I'm saying me. Uh, certain, when I was, uh, your, yourself, okay, yeah. Same way how you said, yeah, but you got your father, but what about everybody else? Yeah, but that's you, bro. Everybody is not going yeah, to... So for, what? We was just having so a it, conversation. So it's bad for me to I'm empathize. not saying it's bad. I never said... I never used the word bad. What I said is, is stop looking for entertainers to fucking lead you, bro. And I get it. Facts. But what I'm saying is... Straight I'm up. Sa I'm saying is you're right, though, but I don't think you're acknowledging the... It's like you're... It's like you're dis again. I keep saying the same thing. It's like you're dismissing the other side. You're right, but you we you got just, real. Like, you said you said bro. two things can coexist. If, if you said two things can coexist, you're bro. not acting like it. All I'm saying is your actions from the conversation is not giving two things. Listen to me. Your actions, the way you're responding to it, is not giving the answer that you just said 20 minutes ago. Two things can coexist. So if, I, if you're saying that, I'm saying you're absolutely right. We do need to stop idolizing uh, fucking entertainers because they're they're not the ones to be idolized in the beginning. I know that. And I'm acknowledging that. I'm just saying I feel sorry for the other kids who might not know that yet. And you're saying no, fuck. It's like I didn't say fuck. Hold on, I never said you fuck say, that. You ain't say, I didn't say. I never said but that. I'm saying that's the energy you've given. I never though, said. Hold on, no, because you got to be very. I'm very literal, bro. Right, I never fair, said fair, fuck but that. But I'm saying the energy. You you know what? Like, with that being said, you know what you have to do. You know what your job should be. You know what your because you care about these said people who don't have. Then you need to be an example. Yeah, if, for if, sure. Well, hold on, yeah, yeah. you need to be an example. And what I'm saying is, is this, is, bro, is that niggas talking about all this. Di we got real. I, I, I see every time we come up here, we have. Our, our cool conversations, we have our music shit, but then we get serious about shit, right? And not mm -hmm. in a negative connotation. Yeah, what I'm cool. saying is, bro, is we got real fucking problems going on in this fucking planet, bigger than a fucking ditty. We got way more shit that's going down in the in our fucking neighborhoods and all of that than a fucking ditty. We will sit here and talk about a nigga, uh, uh, talk about a nigga that 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 yeah, he's going through his trials and tribulations, but it's real. Them same people that you're talking about is going through real shit every day where they disenfranchise when it comes to jobs. We got this. AI shit take it bro when I was a kid niggas had jobs in the train station now ain't nobody in the train station no more you don't even have to talk to nobody you know how many jobs is lost from shit like that it's real shit going on where we need to be teaching our people skills and giving them resources and everybody's so caught up on what the fuck is gonna happen to Diddy and I'm not saying I'm not saying that that Diddy don't deserve some grace cause I think everybody who des deserves some grace guilty to pro be proven innocent or, I mean uh, uh, yeah, being you should be innocent Ooh. and to be proven guilty innocent that's yeah. what I meant to say yeah. that's what I meant to say all I'm saying is, bro, is what frustrates me is we got real shit going on. And I'm tired of you. You're right. Of course, we don't want to see examples fall. But what I'm saying That's is, I'm saying. what That's I'm saying it. is, is this is not Martin Luther King getting fucking shot, nigga. This is not Malcolm X getting shot. You know what I'm saying? This is not our leaders being assassinated by a fucking white supremacy. No, it's not. That's this is it's, this is it's not the it, same it, thing. This is them doing it to themselves. This, this is what I'm saying. This is not the same it's thing. Not. So what I'm saying, the point that I'm trying to make is the degree of sensitivity or the degree of attention that we put towards all these other things. We don't put towards the things that, that matter. Is important. You're right. That's the only. You know? But that's the only point I'm making. Well, I'm just saying we can't ignore that. You're, you're absolutely. That's right. the only point no, I'm making, I, but bro. But I never disagree with you. All I'm saying is you didn't like. I'm giving. I feel like I'm. I'm understanding your point, mm -hmm. but I don't think I'm getting the same understanding or respect on my point. I get your point. You're absolutely right, bro. I, I don't, I don't de deny that. All I'm saying is that's not the world, and that's the world that we live in. Most of our young black kids in in, in the environments that we come from want to be what? Either rappers or ball players. That just is what it is. So when we say Diddy, yeah, we are grown men. 
Diddy ain't no fucking Martin Luther. We know that. Yeah. But we can't say that to the fucking 18, yeah. 16, 17 year old. Yeah, you I'm want, not, yo, I'm going to tell you this, though. You know what, bro? Yes, we can. Because you know we, you know what would be really, really good for us to do? Like you said, like, what kids want to be? They want to be a ball player or a rapper, right? You know what would be really great for us to do? To get a, sh a, ch a, um, a chart, right? Get a chart and show the percentile of successful rappers and successful ball players versus the people who are trying every day. And not saying that you can't do it, right? It's small. But it's, it's, it's negative. There's probably two million niggas playing ball every year, kids growing into men with hopes of going to the NBA. It's only 400 jobs to be on the court. And out of that 400, it's only maybe 25 real elites yeah. that really shake the game up and make shit go and sell the tickets and all of that. You feel me? So... That's the, the the point that I and again it's not that I'm excuse me it's not that I'm dismissing your point, bro. I'm just saying is like I get frustrated with these convos because I just look at it like yeah, Diddy has what he's going on. I'ma honestly say I don't want to see nobody nobody go through no bad shit, but at the same time. Whenever it's something that's alleged about you, you got to just go through the cycles and mm -hmm. whatever that entails. And now the internet is unforgiven. The internet is, is trial by trial by comments. You know what I mean? That, that's that's where it matters. You know what I'm saying? Seeing the same shit with the Meg Thee Stallion, Tory shit. You know what I mean? We seen the same shit. With, every time it's a court case, we seeing it with the thug shit. Mm -hmm. This is down the third, right? Like, and, and the same thing, like like you said, though, is... Is a small, very small percentage of the elites in the in, in the sports in anything, right? In anything, in, in anything, and that's and that's what I'm looking at because again, I'm into entertainment. I'm not into politics, so I don't I don't talk about things that I'm not into. Like you're right, we can. I would love to have politicians, like, but I'm not into that. So I'm talking about this because this is the space that I, that that yeah. I hold, right? So when we talk about music industry, it's not. That's why I was saying Diddy is Diddy, like uh, even Thug, right? So it's like. You see these guys and like these are the examples, even though they shouldn't be. But when we're talking about music, they are the examples, and then you see them fall off from their own demise. And I'm like, bro, like, I want to see a nigga. But I mean, if we being real, bro, that's been happening. Yeah. That, that, that's not just right now. But that's that's why been I, happening. But that's why I went back to the hood shit because like niggas been getting killed in the hood. But when you get older to a certain age and you start losing friends, you're like, damn, like I'm losing hope for myself. Not saying we, we, we built different. I'm built different. I moved out of it. But I would be lying if I didn't see, if it was moments when, Niggas died. I probably wouldn't even little school. I wasn't best friends with little scooter, but I I felt the impact in Baltimore. So when I hear he died on the phone, I'm hosting a party. I'm like, God damn. No, absolutely. That's all I, I'm saying. No, no, no. Absolutely. I'm just saying that, like, bro. <laughs> is this joke that Dave Chappelle said? He said he spoke to them kids and he said, man, he's like, y'all niggas better learn how to sing, dance, something, because the white man coming for you, right? But I'm just saying, bro, is like, and today, remember, I was telling you, I I, I had this conversation. I interviewed this this brother, Tunde Akoya, Akoya, Akoya. Tunde uh, Akoya, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Tunde Akoya, right? Um, dude from Nigeria, grew up in the slums in Nigeria, had to drop out of school at ten years old. So he said some of the worst things he experienced was watching his mother go to sleep at night hungry, mm. and. Of course, like you said, everybody is built different, but found chess two years after that and turned chess into a passion, into a business and been taking chess and like teaching it to these young kids so they have new means, right? See, I just feel like amongst our people, bro, we so fixated on what the nigga who entertains us is going through. And granted, like, yeah, it's easy to, that's easy to find, right? It's easy to find the next the next song or the next mogul, or the next whomever, right? It's easy to find that and be influenced by that. And, you know, and I'm not negating the work that they put in to 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 have people be influenced by them. But I'm just saying, bro, it's like, that's why I said the scope, I was, I was by me saying the scope was small, I'm not trying to, like, like insult you. Yeah, he's in front of the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying it's like, and the point that you're making is, is yeah, I am like a grown I'm man. I'm 42-year-old man. I've gone through a lot. Like, I've lived enough lifetimes than a lot of people that I've seen come and go. I'm just saying, bro, my time on this earth, bro, I've learned that, like, all the shit that we be so fixated on, we be looking like, oh, my God, look what's happening over there. That shit ain't even important as you yeah. think it is. You no, feel me? you're right. But that's why... So I, it's like, like... It's like it, it's hard for me, only when I say it, because I'm big on 
I want to make it and show niggas that, bro, you can do this shit and be solid. You've already person. made it. Yeah, Jay. not facts. So like, but that's you. We had these conversations. That's yeah. like I'm self betterment, self but Like that's who I am as a person. Bro. Yeah, as a man. So like, when I see that, it's like, man, it kind of goes against not what I'm working towards, but it 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 just. I want people to know that, bro. Like, it's niggas out here that's solid. So but every just, time I yeah. see somebody that's great, that go, it's like, man. But don't let it. But that's the thing, right? That's why I'm saying, like, you can't get discouraged by that because, like, you got to look at it from a standpoint of, like, I hear what you're saying, and you're not wrong for feeling that. You know what I'm saying? But the the I wouldn't necessarily say game I'm trying to give you, but like or a point I'm don't trying to let make. It consu- I get what I'm, you're I'm, saying. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm basically like, saying like, don't let it like, consume you. Like that ain't like to have me stop working. I that, get it. I'm just saying what I'm yeah. saying is that ain't got nothing to do with the fuck who you is because Facts. you could look at like you could look at. The, I gave Pharrell as one example, but you could look at this person or that person or another person. Bro, think about Suge Knight. Like it's crazy for me seeing Suge Knight being in jail for killing a, another black man. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, I was influenced by Suge Knight as a kid. When I was a kid, I looked at Death Row and was like, oh, that's cool. Mm. And you look at, he's a mogul, too. His name is in the books with Diddy, regardless to him falling off or whatever, right? But to see him saying shit about Diddy, and it's like, yo, bro, like, you in there, like, you might not be in there for the same shit, but you killed another black man, you know mm. what I'm saying? So it's like, again, we people pick and choose their battles or what's important to them. No, you're right. I just mm-hmm. need to see, like, man, I hope I hope this shit not true, but if it is, fuck them. I, like, at the end of the day, like, I'm do, I'm a do, bro, I have duality in, in, in my humanness. It just is what it is. That might not make any sense, but and That I makes can, sense. Like, I, I'm not the type of humans nigga. Are, hum, humans are hypocrites, bro. We, we contradict yeah, so it's like, I, like I, hypocrites. That's a fact. I don't give a fuck about these niggas, but at the same time, I, I, I can acknowledge the impact that they have on the culture. Yeah, that's absolutely. really, that's all I really had to say about the Diddy shit. I didn't, a lot of niggas be talking about this shit like ju- I don't really care that much about. But if he did that shit, then it is what it is, right? It is. What else been going on, bro?